Hey yo yo, it's your boy Pencro Fire. And we're back with another episode with of the Hustler. We got your boy Broken Pencils in the building, and I got my co-host. Hi guys, it's your girl Ayanda. Let's get it, let's get it, my boy. Pull up on me, let's get it. Yo, 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 what's up, bro? Nice, bro. I'm nice, bro. Hey, you good? I'm good, good. So basically, basically today we're gonna be telling you about um somebody I don't even know. I ain't never met this nigga, but I know it's odd crazy as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I know this nigga greedy as fuck, you know. So today, we're going to be asking him a couple of questions of what he does, and he's going to be telling us everything on what he does and everything like that. Yes, so, homie, um, I've never seen you before, but uh, since I saw your work, bro, I fuck with it. Yeah, I fuck yeah. with it big time. Really you, you, you working, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. You putting in work and everything like that. So, nigga, um, so I would like to so ask... Um, what were you doing before you started the painting? Before you're an artist, what did you do? Well, first of all, um, this is your boy, Justin. Okay. All the way from 21 here in Cosmo City. Okay. Yeah, so painting, okay. I've always, like, growing up, I've always, like, did art up from a young age. Okay. I was always, like, drawing, but I never thought of, like, selling it. Mm-hmm. You see, I do art for myself, for my classmates, and then never sell it but then after my trip that's when i actually like started like selling because the pandemic hit i don't know my trip 2019 oh yeah and then 2020 the pandemic hit lockdown we didn't have shit to do we just like let's yeah, start home, yeah, yeah. Let, let's start let's start something oh you draw too yeah i draw that's me talking to my brother like we grew up together who's yeah. your brother cabello he couldn't be here yeah, my partner Oh. Yeah, he couldn't get here. He got busy, unfortunately. Okay, but cool. then yeah, we worked together ever since we started together. It was like, let's just like do something, like, cause we both throw in from the same hood, same street. Mm-hmm. Sure. So we're like, like, let's just do something, and then we start like painting. We started with one jean. We got from a friend, cause we're like trying out. But I asked you, what were you doing before painting? Before painting. <laughs> I was just in school, bro. You're just high in school, school you never bro, done anything like, else. Yeah, like high just school. Just focusing on high school. Yeah. Big, yeah, to the high school, like everything. I feel you. Who are you? Oh, uh, just my real name, just Amarema. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. I grew up in Oxford, and then I moved to the north, Cosmo City. Uh-huh. And then. I grew up with my sister. Yeah, that's who I am. She's the one who raised me in who I am today. Oh, yeah. yeah, so where was your parents? My parents, um my mother passed away when I was like real young. Yeah. I think I was like I don't even remember, but I was like real sure. real young. And then my dad, my dad is around. He's old though, but then now we cool, he's my dad at all. Like, He's just the nigga. Yeah, like, is it like a thing of he's around, but then he's not around? In, like, if you understand what I mean. No, nah, like, yeah, 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 yeah like yeah, that. Yeah. Like he's around, like he's not there, but then we don't really like. I never like had a like one on one talk, one on one talk, long yeah. talk with my shit, dad. And it's always like yeah. and with me, dog. My dad, like he passed away and shit like that. Yeah. And I'd like never spoken to him, dog. Like. She was green. Yeah, she was fucked yeah. up. Bro. She was green. Like, first part, like, my dad is there. Mm. But we never, like, really talk. But then, nah, it's like, yo, we cool, though. Like, yeah. Yeah. what's up, son? What's up, dad? Yeah. Okay. So, um, how, how many were you in your household? My household, well, Like, your upbringing and shit. Okay, like, that's when we moved to Cosmo. That's when, like, it started. It was me, my sister, and her son, who's older than me. Like, my nephew. Can so you get your cup quickly? I bet. It was then like go on. it was like three of us. Yeah. And then like 2012, my sister had another baby and then we became four oh. of us. And then ever since then, it was just like the four of us. And then my dad like Yeah. Okay, can I just ask? Because you said like you used to stay here, <laughs> That's what right? Yeah. In Boxback, where exactly in Boxback were you staying? I moved in Joe in Boxback when I was like very young. Yeah. Yeah, like I was just born here and then like I moved when I was very young. Uh, my that's why I say like my life started when I was in Cosmo City, that's when it started. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you basically moved after the passing of your mother. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I was very young. <laughs> <laughs> after your mom passed away since you were young, did that affect you in any way? 
Oh, you were still too young to notice that. What's well, going on? Well, like growing up, man. How old were you when she passed away? I was like seven months old. She, yeah, I was so very you young. So I grew up with her, like. Oh, she was never was, there. She was never there, like she. at all. And then so like growing up, I had like, you know, like as kids when we playing, like yo, I'ma tell my mom this, I'ma tell my mom yeah, this. Yeah, sure, sure. But then I had my sister, bro. She's like my mom, so like. And when I was young, I used to talk like to her, like oh, I would yeah. tell her everything. So she was like my mom. Like, I feel she like gave that. me the love. Did did you receive any support from your maybe family members from in what you do? Basically? Via via the arts. Yeah. Anything you do, do you, did you get motivated or did they help you in any way? How did they support you? Well, did my okay, I would say my sister because she's my she's sister. The one who's yeah, yeah, she's the one who's always been there. But yeah, she shows love and support. But yeah. then at first it was like when we started out, like we're just trying it out. And then she was also surprised, like painting on clothes. Do you like, think that's gonna be a selling idea? Yeah, she like, like she was like, nah, you're just wasting time, bruh, I go to school and all that. Yeah, most people then, say that. And sure. then I started making money, like we started making money and then yeah, and then like she was sure like true support. Now, how much like, how much money have you made out of your art when you think when you estimate? Estimating. <laughs> yeah. From 2020 till now? Yeah. yeah. Dang. Ah, close to 100k. For real? Yeah, so your shit shirt sure is selling like that? Yeah, we sell them, but... I'll say like the discipline of keeping the money. Uh, like, boy, if you're a hustler, the problem is... You gotta, let, me tell you, let me tell you. So when you're a hustler, you know that you're going to get money tomorrow. So I'm like, yeah. fuck that, let me spend that money today. In my life, yeah, like there's exactly, and there's like always shit to buy. You gotta buy something. You have yeah. to buy something, but and then, then you go out buying different mm-hmm. things instead of what you need. Ish, dog, yeah, there's and always, that shit is fucked up. There's always distractions. But like, do you have a balance of that discipline, or are you still learning on how to maintain the yeah. money and shit? Since well, you started owning a business now, you don't know anything about finance, accounting. You just well, make money and spend the money. I would say like I have started because started like we started out like yo, it was like a group of people like gang people mm-hmm. and then so that's how like the money like i'll see that okay all over the such a little so and then i'll use that money too to buy like what i need up, apart from the business okay yeah. and then it's also like a cover time oh this is how you grow for sure yeah and then so we started out like because now it was like we got to like it was like six or four of us and then now it's back to like just the two of us mm-hmm. shit and then like we because it's my brother, we tell each other, like, we gotta do this shit, we gotta save money. We gotta stay So I'll say, like, we're still, like we're that. still learning to, because, like, we learn every day, and, like, yeah. That's okay. I feel it, The circle became small. <laughs> From back six to, to back two, to, I just went back to family I, again. I, I think yeah. it was it's, meant to be. I think it's fate, bruh. Like, it was, it was meant, meant to be. Yeah. yeah. And you guys, I'm sure you guys share the same passion. If y'all wanna make it like that, like yeah, that, not like yeah. the other people. We got the same vision. Exactly. We got the same exactly. vision. And um, did uh, did that motivate you or did that discourage you? That um, you guys were a group, yeah, mm-hmm. and then now it's only the two of you. Is that did it, that it, discourage it, you or did that motivate you to work harder? I believe I believe everything happens for a reason. It motivated sure. me hard because mm-hmm. like because when we started out, it was just the two of us, and we did it when it was just the two of us. Exactly. So now like. What can we do it again? Like we can always do it, and we're doing it. Why did you guys think that you needed other people to do this thing instead of just staying united together? You know, like we never divided or anything. But then we always felt like collaboration is better than competition. So it's like, okay, check out an artist. Oh, he's from the who? Oh, okay, dog. Like we're pushing art. Why don't you like pull up and let's push the same shit so that we can both grow. We can all grow. So did they add value to the business? Or they did, but it didn't last at all. Yeah, it didn't because it was more of the financial yeah, okay. type shit. So they're mostly doing it for the money, not for the love of it. You can say that. Nah, I'm doing it because no, like I wanna, the other I wanna, people, you, the other the, people, the other people. people yeah. yeah, you'd say like that, but then we always like had love for art. 
in case or whatever since, we since you guys it, yeah, or, yeah. or whatever collaboration we push it because we also like collaborate with like local brands oh yeah around the city but then we should collab with my brand dog i also have a clothing brand yeah we yeah, should yeah, collab. yeah. Should collab. Nah, and we'd slap for real yeah now i prefer shit that's on paper though because like word hey, of mouth, of mouth I, like, it's that's just not, not working. it's yeah. not on nah it's not on because people they show me to the world though. yeah especially like when it comes to like just because you carved me or we went to the same school, now we gotta like ah. Uh, I know that. Let's put it on paper. Even if we family, especially if we family, yeah. Like put it on paper. Yeah, I fam dog. Yo, shit, motherfuckers gonna rip you off for oh real, God. dog. Oh God. What made you fall in love with art? What made me fall in love with art? Yeah. Well, I've always like loved art, but then after I found out like. Like, I can actually make a living out of, like, art. Mm. Like, yeah. it made me, like, I can make my, my passion, my paycheck. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I was like, okay. P P. Yeah, pushing P the whole time. P my boy. Pushing P the whole time. So, like, I've always loved art, uh, but now I love it way more because it's giving me something to. Shit, yeah, I, I'm making a name out of art. I believe I am art, so I, and I love myself. Can I ask, is, it, is there another backup plan in you? Like, do you, is there something else? Besides the arts. Yeah, besides, besides the arts. Besides the arts. What's your plan B? Did you pass a matric? I passed my matric and I was sure. in college. And then I had to, like, drop out because I wanted to push up. I couldn't, like, juggle. Yeah. juggle you couldn't, though. Home. So, you back, can't. When you're hustling, you can't juggle mm-hmm. shit like that. And then especially like, when it's school. It's always, like, when you're young, like, especially at home, they always be like, yo, brah, like, why don't you go to school and mm-hmm. do this yeah, and do real, this? And then I feel like, you know, like in art, man, like I I learn every day, bro. Like what they teaching me at school, I'm teaching myself, and then like I be spending money at school. I feel like exactly, I'll, be, I'll be wasting money, like because okay, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm 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 gonna be teaching myself that. So yeah. like yeah, so I know art switch. Gonna make it recreational. I, I wouldn't say that I have a backup plan. Like art is like my way out. On so God. art is your only way out. Way on God, like sure. maybe in future I might have other be aga like plenty business ideas like right now but then right now i want to focus on broken pencils like oh god so with your art you basically dream big right it's like dream big or go home for me yeah because when i like you wanna like you wanna expand bro. like when i feel you bro. like feel via art yeah shit dog and you can check like mm-hmm. that in the country it's so I'd say underrated, bro, because you check, like, everybody loves art, mm-hmm. but sure. nobody want to buy art. Like, it's no, no love. most nobody people want, buy art. They love it. Yeah. They love seeing it. Yeah. Yeah. So you should find a way even, of making money even, without... Even the without government. Them. You know what you should do? Mm-hmm. Try making money out of it without spending any money. Because people like yeah. buying things digital now. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. 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 That's how, like, we linked up via, like, Zenix Enterprise. Yeah. yeah. That online it's store. Like that. Yeah. It's like yeah. That. So, so. And um, what the fuck did I want to say? Um, are you working on any any project right now? Mm, projects, project this year crazy. Okay, right now I'm working on. Yeah, it's this one. I call it Cliff Drip, twenty one eighty eight. Like, oh yeah. This one is for the CET brass. So oh yeah. When I be dropping on like February. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause it's my birth month so. My partner's birth month as well, so Shit. I wanted to dial her, like something like yo something crazy, crazy. So a project, and you got bro. cloud platform, it is crazy. Yeah, yeah. you know, bro. It's so crazy. so like yeah, and then split drip, and then like June, July, yeah. That's when I'll be dropping anxiety too. Like they know. Is that I mean. a collection? Of... It, it's a collection. I dropped a collection last year, July. Um, what made you come up with that concept of anxiety? Yo, I was just chilling, like glow shading as usual. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, shading, like, no, let's go, please do something about it. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone uh, let's go, man. So, man. like, we are tired. It was glow shading, yeah. So, plus at my street, where they like, yo, so I'm at, at my friend's crib, so uh-huh. we're just chilling. When was this? It was, I think, around April last year. Last yeah. year, yeah, we're just chilling there, and then the key, we high as fuck. <laughs> and then after that we just chill. Nobody's talking. I'm on my phone. I always went to my like notes app to yeah, my phone. Okay. So I get in there and then I'm just thinking and like and then I start thinking about anxiety. Like I got inspiration from Zuchi Coke though, like via the anxiety albums. 
So yeah. I start thinking about anxiety, like anxiety, anxiety. When I put it on the shirt. And you yes. try to edit album slaps. Yeah. Oh, bro, that's, that's a masterpiece. Ah, and then I was like, why don't I put it on a t-shirt but different? Like anxiety. And then I started thinking of bones. Like and then I wrote the word anxiety in bones. Like, oh. Okay, I started off I wrote it in my right. notepad right. and then I was right. like and then I did it on the t-shirt, I already had it in my mind. Right. Did it on a t-shirt, first t-shirt, I was like, whoa. Bro, let's get like four more. We got like four more of it. And then I was like, I didn't want to drop like much, like too much of it. I wanted like just to give him a taste. Oh, right. Yeah, and then like, yeah, it was a success. Like, July, yeah. we dropped it. We had a store, ball store. Yeah. Yeah, we collaborating with a brand, right. ball store, and then right. store. Yeah. And then check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss, got over here. Yeah, you gotta check it out. And gotta I'm check it out. You started the anxiety line because you have anxiety or something. Yo, <laughs> like throughout that like process of making, cause I be posting like yeah. you know I'm promoting yeah. that yeah. Yeah. and then like everybody be like telling my friends like yo, yo, especially like my partner Kabe, oh. be like yo, bra, like check out on your friend. Is he okay? Cause like he's always posting about anxiety. Right. Like yeah. is he depressed? <laughs> like. I'm like nah, but guys, it's just the art. I'm boy. working here. Yeah, it's You're just the art. You're something crazy. Yeah. Something you know, you know, you know, but boy. then you know, like art goes with emotions, bruh. So exactly. I guess yeah, at true. that time, it's like music. Yeah. yeah. At that time, when I thought of it, I think maybe I was feeling a bit anxious or like, and so, mm. so I just thought of it and then I put it out and made something out of it. That's okay. why, like, that's the inspiration under anxiety. Like, turn any negative situation into positive. Straight up. Yeah. Straight up. Straight, yeah, up. straight, yeah, up, straight like, up. So this year, July, anxiety too. It's gonna be major. It's crazy. Gonna be crazy. July or June? July. <laughs> July. July. <laughs> July. <laughs> July. Yeah. You're dropping. Yeah. You're dropping. You must check, check out the store, uh, the, the merch on the next Enterprise store. We're gonna drop the link right down there. We get the numbers, oh, we get everything. You know what I'm saying? So, dog, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Where do you see broken pencils in the next five years? Broken pencils in the next five years. Yeah. And who is. Who is who has been your biggest collab with so far? Somebody big to a brand and something like that. You feel, let's say somebody hood famous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, since they know you guys in Cosmo, like, like, like let me start. Like let that. me start. Let me start with the first question. Where I, where we where I see broken pencils in yeah. like the next five yeah, years. Sure. I see also like international because our art is world class. So I see also like internation. We gotta be out of here. Well, home is home, but we gotta show them like what we got. Yeah. For sure. So we gotta be out of here. Like I'll probably not be here though in five years. Yeah. Where you, where you, where you trying to where you trying to be in five years? Where you trying to be? You know, states. It's where it's at, bro. Yeah, so sure. you, you want them dollars, yeah, bro? Dog, like we got American dreams, African child with American dreams. Yeah. Like, no cap, yeah, bro. So we, we, live, we live in this motherfucking American <laughs> dream. Expect bro. a picture of us in New York, like you know just popping up in New York, and like popping your <laughs> shit. Yeah. And, um, who's your biggest motivation? Who's your biggest motivation? Three people at least that keep um, you motivated. Okay, my partner Cabello. Yeah. Yeah. And then um my favorite artist, Aries. Like I just Aries. Everybody loves Aries, gents. I'm here <laughs> and me, personally, ne. Aries, yeah. I, I nigga hot. Hi, yeah. bro. Nigga yeah, hot, yeah, bro. Right. Like yo, like Aish. Aish. from paradise okay. till now, bro. Like okay, I just relate to Aries music. And then, exactly. like the way he moves too. Besides the music, the yeah. way he moves, bro. Low key moves, but then like. High, 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 high results. I feel you. I feel yeah, you. So like that's the how third person. The third person would be myself, being a better person. That's the only motivation. Of course, you gotta evolve. Yeah, you gotta like grow. every time I look myself in the mirror, like boy, you gotta be a star. Like, yeah. Sure, boy, you gotta be <laughs> yeah. a star. You're a fucking star if yeah. you can design something like this. Yeah. Nah, yeah. what the fuck? How much this cost, man? Ah, she. Well, we're gonna drop the pr- the price, the new price list. Okay. So okay. Okay. You gotta check out the link. And, and the t-shirt. And the t-shirt, t-shirt I'm rocking. And the t-shirt I'm rocking. The t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirts, rocking. t-shirts are be they be going for one seventy, especially the project I'm gonna be dropping. Oh, yeah. Oh, February yeah. split trip. Oh, yeah. But I fast with this too. I yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's custom nice. art. Nah, yeah. fuck. Nah, this shit hard. And we also shit like. Hard. Hard for you, yeah, we make it affordable because we in the hood, you see. So yeah. you, can, you can get that for one fifty. Shit, it's, but it's beautiful, though. Yeah, it's like, beautiful. Uh, where can they find you on the social media and everything like that? Social media, I'm um, Broken Pencils, Facebook, 
IG. We're gonna be on TikTok like real soon, real real soon. Make sure you get TikTok, yeah, boy. This so, shit's gonna go. Yeah, that's where, that's this where shit it's gonna go global, <laughs> man. That's where it's popping, yo. That's where it's so popping. So, are you planning another fashion show or anything? Yeah, this year we gotta have another fashion show. Like, yeah. Yeah, like way bigger and better because I got, I get ideas like every day. Yeah. So like, yeah, this year we definitely having a fourth quarter. We definitely having another fashion show. And that's it for today's episode. Let's get it, let's get it. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. Let's get it.